I picked up that book around 2005 when I was just I just just moved to Chicago and um, my friend told me about it. He's like, "Yo, you got to check this out." So I picked it up and I loved it. And um, I think I distinctly remember having a conversation with him. I was saying, uh, "Man, would it be cool if I got to play this role if they ever did this?" And it was just like an afterthought. You know, I never thought about it after that. And then when I moved here and um, this other project didn't work out, which I was on the brink of getting that this role for this other project, and it didn't work out. I was crushed. I was so bummed. Uh, but Bruce was like, "We'll get the next one." And so this one came along, and um, it was just. I walked into the room. They dug what I did. Then I went to Frank Darabont's office, his house office, and uh, it was just him and me and two assistants and two of the casting directors. And it was just a camera and do the scene. And it was crazy because I had just come off uh, auditioning for a network pilot, which you know, I was in front of the network. And they were there in like a, you know, <laughs> like an amphitheater type of small amphitheater. And they were just, 40 of them were just staring at me. This one it was just Frank and a camera and me. And um, it was such an easy process um, in terms of being nice to the actor and making them not suffer through this whole ordeal. Um, but yeah, that's that's basically how it happened. It kind of happened quickly over the course of like a week. Glenn as a character has so much growth over the course of uh, his existence and um, it's fantastic. I'm so honored to play something like this. Um, basically how I see Glenn is right now he is kind of, um, he, he's young, you know, he, he doesn't have much to live for, he doesn't have family, but uh, he knows he's supposed to do the right thing and he always goes into it knowing that he has to do the right thing so he, sometimes he somewhat puts his life on the line for the for others sake because he's, he, he, he looks at it in a way why should everybody else risk their lives, I can do this and I could be the hero because ultimately he wants to be the hero, he wants to prove himself in this new world where he's getting a new opportunity because before he was just a pizza delivery boy not really knowing what to do he was unsure of his life unsure of you know his role in in, in society and now he can cut out a clean-cut role it's, it's kind of like attending college you know you can change everything you were in high school and just go right into college and be a new person and I think he's really grasping that idea and he also sees role models. He sees Rick, he sees Shane, he sees Dale. Everyone that's above him, he, he, he looks at them and says, those are the qualities, I'll take some qualities of that, I'll take some qualities of him, and, and, and I want to apply it to my own self. And I see that continual growth until he gets to a point where he becomes his own man, and he becomes someone that he wants to be. And uh, that, over, that, over the course of the book that I've read, has been awesome to read. You see later on down the road, this guy is just running the show. He's, he's, he's got someone to live for. He, he, you know, he's, per, he's a protector now. He, he, he goes off and he's not just risking his life because now he has someone to live for. He, he's more doing it for them out of love instead of just willy-nilly sacrificing. And um, that is cool and I, and I hope we get there as a show to that point. Uh, but you will slowly see that growth over the course of this first season.